Hey guys, welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to talk about copper wire and I'm going to show you some tricks that can save you some money. Now buying wire from a jewelry supply catalog can be expensive and one way to cut costs, especially for beginners who are still practicing, is to buy insulated copper wire from a hardware store and with a handy tool called a wire stripper, you can soon be on your way to stripping your own wire very quickly and easily. Now this technique is also great for when you run out of wire and you don't have time to wait for a delivery or as I said, if you're a beginner and you need to do a lot of practicing. Now here are some wires that I've bought online, either from a, a jewelry supply catalog or just a general supply. Now this is regular copper wire. Here's one that I bought from a jewelry supply catalog. That one came from Rio Grande. And I don't recall what the prices were on these, but they can be a little bit pricey. You are getting good quality when you're buying from a reputable dealer, but you know, you can also go to a hardware store and you can buy solid copper wire that is insulated that electricians use and with a tool called a wire stripper you can quickly and easily strip the plastic off the wire and have wire for jewelry making now here are two that I have from the hardware store I have a 12 gauge and a 14 gauge and remember the higher the number the thinner the wire the thinner the gauge and the lower the number the heavier or thicker the wire is so today I'm going to show you how we're going to strip some of that 14 gauge wire now when you're buying this copper wire there will be two different main types there's a solid wire which we are using and there's strand wire which is strands that are kind of wound together and you want to make sure you have the solid wire this is the wire stripper tool and you can see it is just a very simple hand tool on the blade you'll see it is numbered mine says 10 all the way up to 24 and those are for the gauges of wire you can see that the size of the hole you know coincides with the number next to it and at the bottom below the last large 12 gauge there is a blade for cutting wire the holes that are on the left and right on the tool are also just there for handy wire bending you can put a piece of wire through there and then bend it easily you know for jewelry making you probably want to use your jewelry tools for that but what i'm going to show you is how we are going to strip this 14 gauge wire so i'm going to pull a little bit of a length out and then i'm going to take my tool and i'm going to find the corresponding gauge on the blade which would be the 14. i'm going to put it in at an angle you can see the blade is at an angle and then i'm going to grip it down and cut it but before i show you that on the tool you can see on i'm showing you on the left it says solid and on the right it says stranded and those are the two different types of wire that i told you about and you want to make sure that you're getting solid wire and you're going to look at the gauge number on the solid side so that would be the left on my tool so i'm going to insert it i'm going to grip down and that's cutting through the plastic but it's not cutting through the wire i'm going to give it a little bit of a gentle turn a few times just to make sure I'm cutting through all the plastic and then I'm gonna pull the wire toward myself and I'm gonna hold the tool steady. It can be a little tough at first to get it started. I actually moved my wire there down to the end so I can you know, more easily slide it off and that's all there is to it. And you can see that came off pretty perfectly. There's no marks on my wire. It's ready to use and I'm gonna show you that again. Again, I'm looking at the number, it's 14 gauge. I'm going to line it up on the solid side of my tool, put it in at an angle, grip down, and then I'm going to turn it. You can turn either the tool or the wire. I kind of turned both. And then you're just going to pull. So you want to hold that tool steady, pull the wire toward you. Watch you don't punch yourself with it. I've done that. <laughs> and then, you know, it will slide off. It takes a little bit of muscle sometimes and the reward is great. Now I have this copper wire that was much less expensive than something I would buy from a catalog. And you can just cut that off and use it for some projects. And I'll show you just one or two of the things that I make with this wire. And like I said, you can get different gauges of wire, try it out. The tool is not expensive, probably between $5 and $25, depending on the quality. You know, it just depends on what you want. So, you know, check them out. I'll have some links below. And I'm gonna show you how we cut this now. 
I'm just going to pull the length out and then there's like that little cutter little guillotine there and I'm just going to put it in and just like a regular wire cutting pliers it's just going to snip that nice and clean and that's all there is to it. It's really a great tool to have. Um, mine is kind of middle of the road. It's not a real expensive one. It's not a real cheap one. I do like the type that have like a lock where it will lock it closed. Mine doesn't have that. It might have had like a cover to put over the end of the blade and I'm, I, I don't know if I lost it or what, but yeah, I do recommend getting one that you can lock close just for safety. And there on the spool, I'm showing you that it says solid copper. You want to make sure you get solid. And there's the gauge. This is a project from my book, Soldered Alchemy. It's the Ankh pendant. And I made this by starting with a piece of copper wire. So with that very piece of wire I just cut, you can make a project like this. Here are some other pieces that I made starting with copper wire. And this is from another video that I did a while back of the stamped soldered jewelry components. And I'll put a link to that above and below. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out because it's a great video where I make a copper wire circle and then I solder it. Some of them I will put a patina on like these. I put a black patina on and these can be used in necklaces and bracelets and all different types of jewelry. You can make different shapes. I have heart shapes. I have circles. I have clasps that I make like this. And then with adding a little bit of decorative soldering and you know, you can have a really cool component. I really like the rose a lot. And then the one with the bead that turns, you can do so much with this wire. Now here's the stamp soldered pieces where I started again with a loop of copper wire. I hammered it, I soldered it, and then I used the rubber stamp method to emboss them with rubber stamps. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I will be back soon with a new project and I hope you have a great weekend. See you next time.